up, then it goes down. There's times that I get a lot of, uh, uh, I'll start getting more subscribers, but I'm weaning out all the fake people from the real people. Get what I'm saying? Thank you, James. I, I, I mean, I, I fight for that all the time on my channel. I have argued with so many people over the disrespect they put on Jesus' name. And they're like, oh, well, it's my religion. I, re okay, listen. I understand and I respect that that's your religion. But I also respect that you're delittling and devouring the Jesus that was the sacrificial lamb for your sins, for my sins, and the pathway to talk to his father through his sin, and you want to call him a messenger and a prophet. I asked one person how many um, how many prophets were, were put in his Bible. He said 88 prophets. So do you think that God's going to make his son to be the 89th prophet? There was only one sacrificial lamb, and his name was Jesus Christ. And when people say that that's a messenger and a prophet, I laugh, and I said, that is the biggest joke you have told me all day. No, he's the Messiah, he's the sacrificial lamb. It will explain this to me, bro. If You know how many Christians probably try to explain it to you already, and you didn't get it then? Do you think that you're going to get it now? No. You're not going to get it. You just come in here to tear somebody down. Or trying to debunk something that nobody's going to believe that. And meanwhile, you got one of your people going to blow themselves up and kill innocent lives. And then yet you want to say you're going to get 17 wives. And you want me to believe that? No, I can't believe that. I'm sorry. Hope. There's no hope, James. Jesus overcame the world. He oh, he already overcame the world. He already won. Jesus won when he died, and he defeated the devil. He took back control. He took the he took the keys from the devil. Now he's not in charge of hell no more. The innocent man died and went to hell. And he was the only person ever innocent that went down there. He took back control. He took back, he took back what he needed, okay, and gave the devil a due date. The devil has a due date, okay? God knows when that due date is, and it's coming. And Jesus gave so many signs on how to prepare for Jesus coming. He's giving us so many signs. So let's take these signs and let's wait and look. He's good. The second coming of Jesus is coming. Only 20 prophecies left, and he's coming. Watch. And when he comes, he can explain to them. Now, when he comes, I bet they still won't believe him because they said that when some other, somebody else comes in his name, he you will embrace. He you will accept in. But the man that's coming before you that is a true Messiah, you will not believe. That tells you a lot that you need to listen to. So, I know he already overcame, he already won. He's just waiting for his people to come to him. It's not enough Christians out there that he wants to step up yet. I think he wants to give people more chances to escape the imminent danger that's coming their way if they don't. You get what I'm saying? It's like he's warning us. Look at what the weather, look what the signs in the sky, look at the, the trumpet sounds that's in the sky all over the world. What do you think those are? Nobody can make amounts that sound. They said that sound wave to be made and and duped and to uh, to have people believe that's a fake trumpet. They said that it would be you would need the biggest speaker with the biggest magnet in the world to make that sound go as far as it did and as long as it did. Okay, so where's that sound coming from? Warnings. Those are warnings. I think COVID was also a warning when people were like i can't breathe i can't breathe how do you think hell's gonna feel like way worse than that so covid is a warning get your shit right go to church worship him put god in the first put him put him in the middle put him before everybody else and then you everything will start coming your way you know what i'm saying but it, it's a working process, you know?